we are back exploring all the best things to do in Palatka, Florida. And we're starting out our trip at Ravine Garden. Now Palatka is probably best known for its annual Azalea Festival, which takes place the first weekend of March every year. And the most significant location for that Azalea Festival is Ravine Gardens. Ravine Gardens is a 59-acre Florida State Park, and it's home to more than 10,000 azalea bushes, which are several decades old. And every year around the time of the first weekend of March, all of those bushes are in full bloom. We're here during the transition between spring and summer months, so I don't know if any of those azalea bushes are in bloom right now, but we'll see. There's this great loop for walking and jogging and maybe even bicycling all the way around the park. One cool thing is that there's a parkour course and there are some hiking trails throughout. But because we're pushing a stroller, we're just gonna stay around the top of the ravine this time. And maybe in the future, we'll come back and do some of those more adventurous trails. It's so peaceful down here next to the little ponds. It's so pretty. I actually like the hike. I just don't like the idea of doing it with two small children, unless we got one of those fun backpack things and then Anthony could wear Pierce on his back. I don't think he's a fan of that idea. We found the playground. Vivian said I had to carry this walking stick. Because that's what you do when you hike, evidently. Our next stop is probably my favorite thing in all of Palatka, and it's one of our favorite seafood restaurants in all of Florida. This place is really good. Definitely a hidden gem in Florida. Quirky Bell serves up some affordable seafood right on the St. John's Riverfront. Indoor seating is available, and also some outdoor seating with some extraordinary riverfront views. I got the grilled chicken with a loaded baked potato. And I got the salmon patties with the cheese grits and the collard greens. And we got a shrimp plate to share. As always, we were not disappointed by Corky Bells. I got the salmon patties this time. I've never gotten those before, but they were excellent. On this trip, we're staying at a friend's house. So after a brief nap there, we are back out exploring. And the next place that we are exploring is downtown Palatka. This vintage store is so cute. There are so many fun things in here. Now downtown Palatka is home to all of the shops, stores, restaurants, and boutiques that you would typically expect in a downtown area, but it's probably best known for its beautiful murals, which are scattered all throughout. Probably my favorite mural is the one that depicts the most famous Southern Baptist evangelist of all time, Billy Graham. Another one of Palatka's claims to fame is that Billy Graham was both baptized here and preached his first sermon in a local church nearby. <laughs> and for dinner, we checked out the oldest diner in Florida. Angel's Diner has been in operation for more than 90 years. It's a little straight and narrow inside, but don't worry, outdoor seating is also available. And we stuck with the classics, a couple of cheeseburgers and some bacon and cheese fries. And we were not disappointed. If you get a burger all the way, it comes with their famous mustard relish, which is actually really good. This is definitely my favorite spot in Palatka. And 
And after that, it's just a short walk down to the beautiful riverfront park. And of course, we're headed to the playground. This park is so beautiful and it's home to several monuments and fountains and walkways that line the St. John's River. And of course, there's a playground. And this Dairy Queen on the corner downtown seems to be very popular.